Welcome. Welcome to Chemical Lab. And so today we are going to discuss uh, the process for the benzene production using hydrodealkylation route. It is a method of converting toluene and dialkyl benzene to benzene. Also, naphthenes can be produced by the same process from alkyl naphthenes. The chemical reactions for this process are toluene plus hydrogen gives benzene plus methane. Also, alkyl aromatics plus hydrogen give benzene plus alkane. The side reactions for this process are toluene gives diphenyl plus hydrogen. Toluene plus benzene Toluene plus benzene gives methyl diphenyl. Toluene plus hydrogen gives alkanes. The operating conditions for this reaction are temperature for 600 to 650 degrees Celsius and pressure of 35 to 40 atms. Catalysts used are chromia on porous carrier. Now let us discuss the flow sheet for the same reactions. So first of all, the process corresponds to a simple reactor separator recycle system facilitated with heat integration. Here, hydrogen rich makeup gas is added along with the recycle gas which is alkyl aromatic recycle containing unreacted toluene which is, which is mixed with alkyl aromatic feed and it is recycled uh, which is recycled and then added further in this st stream. So the feed is preheated and the temperature of reactants are increased at a desired pressure. Now after increasing the temperature the reaction occurs in a fixed bed catalytic reactor or a tubular non-catalytic reactor and after the reaction the products are cooled using heat integration concept by exchanging the exchanging the heat with the cold feed stream and further cooling is done using H2 based cooler. The stream contains H2, CH4, benzene, toluene, diphenyl and other higher, higher order aromatic and then they enter the phase separator. This is a symbol of a phase separator and then from this phase separator H2 and CH4 both are removed and rest of the liquid is then sent to the gas stripper. Now the recycled stream has good amount of hydrogen so the gas is per, gas per stream for containing uh, uh, is used for controlling the concentration of methane in the reactor. Now in the gas stripper from the top the light ends are removed while from the bottom the other heavier products are sent to the fractionator. From the fractionator, benzene is separated from the top, while the heavier ends, such as the unreacted toluene or diphenyl, are taken removed from the bottom, and then they are again sent and mixed with the fresh alkyl aromatic feed. feed. Now, the major engineering problem for this process are that the reactor design ha has to be taken care of with, along with the economic balance such as temperature, pressure, control, etc. Hydrogen handling issues uh, is one of the major engineering problem here because we need an explosion proof side, plant side. Also, chrome steel has to be used to avoid embrittlement of equipment at high temperature and pressure. I hope you understood this process. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.